desert, more than a mile beneath the surface of the earth. Water and the passage of time have joined hands to sculpt one of the most monumental landscapes on our planet. The first of America's natural wonders to be discovered, the last to be explored, the Grand Canyon. In the basement of that abyss lies a hidden, mysterious wilderness. For six million years, this world was ruled by an outlaw, a renegade force of nature, answering to no one, until an army of engineers wedged one of the largest machines ever conceived into the gateway of the canyon. tame the largest free-flowing river in the West, the Colorado. In the spring of 1983, a reckoning descended on the Glen Canyon Dam. A record snowpack, melting all at once, raced from the Rockies. In the midst of the chaos that the water brought, a legend was born. As the reservoir inched closer to the rim of the dam, the canyon below was transformed into a rock-walled maelstrom. Wrecked boats, stricken passengers, the missing, the injured, the dead. Amid the carnage and the confusion, beneath the glow of a full moon, a trio of intrepid river guides cast off in a tiny wooden boat and rocketed downstream on an epic quest that was illegal, wrong-headed, and glorious. A bid to ride the crest of the largest flood in living memory through the most ferocious whitewater in North America and catapult a little dory called the Emerald Mile into history as the fastest boat ever propelled by oar, by motor, by the grace of God through the heart of the Grand Canyon.